Hey, what's going on guys? So I just wanted to do a quick video about how I am making about $2,500 a week um, sitting in this chair, one hour a day, um, probably less than that actually, and um, I'm 18 years old. So I always kind of knew I wanted to do something where I didn't want a boss because I've had a boss before and I'm kind of just the kind of person that doesn't really take that well. Um, and the pay sucks at like any job where you're just 18 years old and you go in for an application and get hired. It's probably $10 an hour, right? So you could work 30 hours a week and that's $300 before taxes. You'll probably leave with 225 realistically. Um, and so you're at about a thousand dollars a month there, $12,000 a year. Um, I'm on track this month to do probably around $12,000 this month. Um, way over that in revenue, but my profit should be around there. Um, and this is my first month, first month doing this. So, um, it's not like I'm some crazy entrepreneur guy that's trying to sell you something. This is something that I've actually figured out that I can do. Um, startup cost is not too high. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into my computer and I'll kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. I'll explain my business model really quick and, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So here's my business model. Uh, it's been working for a very long time for a lot of people. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. Um, basically, here's what we're doing. So we find a product on Amazon. I uh, like between 15 to $50. That's kind of the impulse buy range where you don't really think about a product too much. You just kind of click whichever one seems best to you, whatever's probably the first couple of listings when you search something. So say we were looking for a garlic press. It's kind of like a classic uh, example here. Um, we're looking for a garlic press, so most likely uh, you're going to be looking at these guys here. Um, whatever, that one's cheap. It comes with a little set here that looks good. Uh, I like the picture on this one. 100% money back guarantee, two in one. That's kind of like a little bundle deal here. Um, so most likely what we're trying to do is get onto this first page right here. But anyway, um, so you find a product that you're looking for on Amazon, and these guys are selling it for, let's say on average, it looks like it's about... $15. Um, you're going to find this product from a supplier, most likely in China. Uh, that's where most of the suppliers are um, through a site called Alibaba right here. Um, so you just do Alibaba.com. I can do that again just to show you what it is. Yep, Alibaba.com. So once you're in Alibaba, what you're going to want to do is search for the item you're looking for. Uh, so we're looking for a garlic press. And let's see what they're going for. Okay, that looks almost exactly like what some of these other ones were. So we got kitchen appliance, utensils, stainless steel, garlic press. We look here, um, it's almost exactly like these ones. In fact, it probably is these ones. Um, those look like the exact same product, um, even that one as well. And people are just putting their logos on them. That's called private labeling. So you can see that has a logo on it there that doesn't, uh, that has something on the handle that that doesn't. So yeah, you create a personal brand and you could put your logo on an item. Um, sounds harder than it is. You just tell your supplier you wanted them to put a logo on it and they'll go ahead and do that for you. You send them a file that you made on like a free logo website and they could do that for you. So that your product differentiates a little bit. So um, people like to see logos like you wouldn't buy just a random shoe. You would buy a Nike shoe, right? Um, so yeah, brand recognition is pretty big thing. So yeah, basically, um, if you wanted, you could even get this for about 50 cents to a dollar. Um, some of the more expensive ones for a set and stuff, but yeah, realistically we're looking at a dollar. We'll call it a dollar cause it's a dollar 50 to 50 cents. So, uh, we're looking at $1 and they're going for about $15. Amazon's going to take 15%, which will be an additional dollar. Um, and then yeah, you're probably looking at a $10 profit on this guy, um, which is really good. So when you're looking at selling a hundred of these a day, uh, <laughs> realistically for something this competitive, this isn't a good product I'd recommend doing. I'll get into that more in a different video, what kind of product you're looking for. Um, but yeah, these guys, we could check really quick. Um, so this extension is called Jungle Scout. It's a, um, product research tool that tells you exactly how much in revenue these guys are doing every month, how many reviews they have, and average price. Um, so for instance, this low Lozer, um, which one is that? This guy right here, he's doing 40,000 per month, per month, $40,000 per month in revenue um, for selling this little $14 bronze or uh, 
yeah, garlic press here. So yeah, he's not doing too bad and I'm sure that's not his only product. So <laughs> you can see how powerful this is. I mean, um, some people will pay 50, 60, 70, $80,000 to go to school to get a job that pays that in a year. Um, he's doing that in a month. So, um, and you can see a lot of people are doing that. We got 23,000 in a month, 50,000 a month, 40,000 a month. Like I said, um, this is very competitive. There's a lot of reviews. We'll get into that more in a different video. Um, how we could find products that are doing that much in revenue with probably 10 reviews. So you could most likely create a listing that you'll be able to take a lot of the portion of those sales and uh, rank a product to do about 20,000 a month. Um, but like I said, we'll just start with what I'm doing for now. Um, I'm selling a product that the average review range is probably about 10 to 50, um, a couple with 100. But yeah, it's pretty low competition. I look for a product, um, for instance, this is kind of a product that I thought was good, not nearly as good numbers, but avocado saver. So I was looking into selling this product. Um, it's basically, you ever cut an avocado in half, it just covers the other half, so you can put it in the fridge and it keeps it from turning brown. But yeah, um, so if we, like I said before, we're gonna go look for an avocado saver on Alibaba, so we know we could get this supplied to us. Um, this one specifically is patented, but um, yeah, so that's the avocado saver right there. That's exactly what we we're looking for almost. Um, comes with a little tool, that one comes with a citrus sprayer. So yeah, you're looking at a dollar per unit. If that, I would say, you could probably message the supplier and if you're just doing this, yeah, a dollar, that's with the tool. Um, I think that set was actually doing better. So let's go look. So we'll pull up Jungle Scout here so we can see what all these listings are doing per month. Um, right off the bat, you can see the reviews are totally different. We're looking at 15 reviews, 41 reviews, 16 reviews. Um, so this is a good example right here. So we have an avocado saver and holder with that little tool. So that is almost exactly what we just found on Alibaba. Um, where was that? Right here. So we have a promotional set of two. Um, you get both the smaller and the bigger avocado saver with that exact tool that this guy's selling. Um, he's calling that a gift, but he's realistically charging a little higher because he has that. So um, let's see, a lot of people are doing that actually. So yeah, um, but he's doing $17,000 a month selling a $1 product and he's doing, let's see, he's doing about 1,500 sales per month. So if the product was $1 and it's super light, so shipping would probably be about $200, you're looking at about a $1,700 order for that many units for one month from Alibaba, right? So you'd contact that supplier and say, I would what? You, you wouldn't do this much to start, but he would probably say, I want 2,000 units. So for $2,000, he's gonna go ahead and flip that for $11. So he's gonna realistically probably eightfold his money after um, you cut away the cost of the product and Amazon takes their fees. He's probably gonna eightfold his money. So if you ordered 2,000, he'll probably be making about $16,000 in profit realistically. Um, and that's just an example. Um, he's doing that in revenue. His profit's a little less, but since it's such a cheap product, your profit margin is going to be a lot more. Um, so I like a profit, like whatever you guys can start with. If you have to $750 to start, you don't have to start with something on Alibaba that costs you $5 because to order 300 units for that, it's going to be $1,500, right? That's twice your budget. So we'll go through product research in another video, but just kind of to break it down, uh, you could see what's going on here. So you find a product on Amazon with low competition and a high demand, right? So not thousands of views, 15 reviews or so, and probably under 50 reviews. We'll call it under 50 reviews. And then about 300 sales a month, because that's 10 a day, right? So if you have a $10 profit and you're doing 300 a month, which a lot of people will do much more than 300 a month, hundred dollars a day, right? Um, so 10 a day at $10 profit, hundred dollars a day. I'm sure a lot of you guys would love to make a hundred dollars a day. I know when I started, I would have loved to make a hundred dollars a day. My product, I spent a lot of time on product research. So my product is doing two to three times that amount. I'm doing about, um, $250 a day on average for the past 11 days since I launched my product. Um, which I, can't believe it's unreal. It doesn't even feel like money yet. It just kind of feels like a numbers thing. I refresh my seller account and just see how many I sold that day. Um, the biggest day I've ever done was $360 in one day. 
and I just started this. I'm not a professional by any means, so <laughs> you can start this with me if you want. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. Um, I've been through it all. Uh, <laughs> as far as launching your first product, all the questions, I've spent hours researching everything. So yeah, feel free to ask me some questions if you are interested in doing this or have another video idea that you'd want to do for me. But essentially the business model is find a product, low competition, high demand that you could most likely list your product on the first page because who, I mean, if you're looking for an avocado saver, you're not going to come down here and go to page five be like, oh, perfect. Like, I don't know what this guy is doing. He's listing avocado savers for $33 when you could buy them on the front page for um, $10 with a tool. So yeah, you don't come to this far into the pages most likely to buy something. I mean, think about if you're going on Amazon, say if you were looking for like, um, I don't know, lug nuts <laughs> for a Jeep. Car parts probably wouldn't sell. But um, yeah, that looks good, right? 25 bucks and you get a whole bunch of them, black, cool. Um, you're most likely gonna stay on this page and look for them. I don't think I've ever looked for something and gone, um, well, let's see what's on page three and then go way down here and that's, let's go to page four. Like, oh, those look perfect or those look perfect. I mean, in this case, they're still good products because it's such a competitive uh, search term, but when you pick a product, you're most likely going to want it to be one of the first listings because that's where the majority of the sales are. So find a product that the numbers look good. Again, I'll make a video exactly what the numbers should look like for you guys. And you're going to find it on Alibaba, order it from them, order probably about three to 500 units. You're going to create a listing on amazon.com. And here's, here's the best part. I never ship any of my own products. So I don't it's not like I sell something and I go to the store and like buy tape in a box and package it and send it out. I send my units from um, Alibaba, excuse me, to a Amazon warehouse. So hope I didn't lose you yet. It sounds more confusing than it is. Amazon will actually pack everything for you and ship it out as you make sales. So you never actually touch the products. So when I make $360 in a day, I could have been sleeping the whole day. I could have been playing guitar, playing video games the whole day, um, driving around going out on a date with my girlfriend, whatever. Um, the point is, it's super passive once you start. Um, most of the work is upfront in creating the listing, and then once it launches, um, Amazon does all the work for you. So you, you're gonna keep your product in an Amazon warehouse, and that's what gives you this status right here. Prime, right? Um, so Prime is what people with Prime are gonna be buying, because that means that it's eligible for two-day shipping. If you have your product in an Amazon warehouse, you get that little prime check mark right here. So that means, <coughs> sorry, I have a little bit of a cold, but I wanted to get this video done. <laughs> um, so that means that you could buy this item right now. If I clicked on this, this one happens to be sponsored, but um, I could add it to my cart and it would be, well, I'm not signed in right now, <laughs> bad example, but I could add it to my cart and I would be eligible for two day shipping. So I would have this little gear wrench spindle nut service kit to my house um, the day after tomorrow, which is awesome. And I could probably pay $5 and have it tomorrow um, or even overnight. So tomorrow morning, wake up and this is at my house. It's super powerful. A lot of people love Amazon. Like I said, it's the biggest marketplace in the world. So even if you could take a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of their sales, um, you're gonna be making a lot of money. Like I said, I'm making like, I could pull up some screenshots that I took for you. Um, or even let's just open my sales tracker. So I put product one so you guys don't know what my product is. But units sold uh, my first day. This is the first day my product came in. It was on May 1st. That happened to be pretty nice. We sold 13 units organically. I didn't spend any money on advertising this day. We'll get into that again. At $24.99. So my total revenue from 13 sales was $324.87. I paid four seventy two per unit from Alibaba, right? That's with shipping calculated in there and Amazon's fees or Amazon's fulfillment um, redistribution fee. And then FBA fees, that's what Amazon is going to take. Fulfillment by Amazon, that's what FBA stands for. And then my total cost for all of this, including the fees and my unit cost, was $128. I made $324 from the sales, so my total profit was $196 that day. I mean, you could see it's pretty consistent. I did $225 this day, $200 this day. Um, something we'll get into later. These two, these three days here were actually back order days. 
So my sh um, product was in between warehouses, so it was kind of like a buy it now, get it in a week kind of thing, which doesn't really work well on Amazon. So those are kind of days you could ignore. But once it got back into a warehouse where it was overnight shipping eligible and two-day shipping eligible, went back to a $200 day, the day right after that, uh, May 8th, I was probably my, yeah, 26 units, that was the best I've ever done. Uh, we did $360 in profit that day. And at that point, I was just like, just laughing. Like, I, I was like, are these, is this ever going to stop? Like these sales just kept coming in this day. This is like, I was just refreshing the seller app on my phone. I was like, how did I just make $360 in one day doing nothing? I like, it's insane because I've worked 40 hour a week jobs where my paycheck didn't even e end up equaling that much, which is absolutely insane that you can make that in a day. I'm 18 years old. I'm still living in my mom's house. I have a bedroom that I share with my girlfriend, <laughs> nothing extravagant. So to be making this kind of money is awesome. Um, then we have 237, 245. This day I changed my price. Um, these two days you could see I went from 24.99 to 26.99 just to kind of experiment um, to see what happened if I raised my price a little. The first day it was good. I ended up doing 245 and then the next day kind of suffered on sales. I only did 10 sales that day, which was not too good. I did $142 in profit. Um, <laughs> not too good. That's still $150 in one day. Um, yeah, that's still good, but I went back to $24.99 and, uh, yesterday I did 306 and today's the 13th. So I have to fill that in at the end of today. Um, and when I put something in this cool thing about this chart here, like this little magic right here. Um, so say I did 15 units, bang, it automatically calculates it for me. Um, actually got that chart from Tanner J. Fox. He has awesome videos about Amazon FBA. Um, but yeah, this is one of his download sheets. Um, Amazon FBA is blowing up. So if you're f hearing from it first from me, uh, it's very surprising, but <laughs> I hope I could help. So yeah, that's pretty much the, um, the basis of it. And like you could see, we're, um, we're 12 days in May 12th. Um, and I've already done 26. Oh, what did I just do? Jeez. I've already done twenty six hundred dollars, eight twenty six eighty three seventy two in profit, um, almost five thousand dollars in revenue. And this is profit, guys. So you're gonna make your unit cost back. So this unit cost here, you're also making that back for all of these. So realistically, I've probably made about mm, four grand um, back in a takeaway, and out of that deduct the cost that I spent on it. We're looking at $2,600 in profit. So that's what I technically made um, for 12 days. That's not too bad. Usually take me several months, if not <laughs> more than that to make this the job that I had before doing this. I still work a part-time job. I have no idea why. Um, it's kind of more just like something to do now than anything. <laughs> it's not a source of income for me anymore. This is pretty much what I'm going to be doing now. Um, so yeah, I'm not like trying to show you guys this. Um, geez, getting text messages here. I'm not trying to show you guys this to brag or anything. I'm just showing you that at 18 years old, if you actually just put your mind towards something and try and do something, you can do it. Like I said, I'm 12 days in here. It's not like I've been doing this for years and I'm some tech savvy guy that just understands how everything works and it's this big logistics thing. Uh, no, so I've researched just like you did. I started on YouTube watching a video. That's why I'm making one now so I could potentially help some of you guys out. And then, yeah, you learn as you go. Don't reinvent the wheel, that's my big thing. Find what someone else is doing that's similar to you. Um, I didn't go to college. I didn't ever really want to go to college. I knew I could do something uh, better with my time. Not like I'm trying to disrespect anyone that's going to college. That's great. If you want to go to college, that's fine. I know a lot of people that went to college, or at least I don't know them, but I've watched videos of people that went to college, started doing something like this, and then dropped out of college because they saw how pointless it was if they could make money like this just doing this. Um, and let's be realistic. Most people are going to college to make money, right? Um, so you want a degree so that you could show that to a boss so that you can make money. Um, but the sad part is most of them will come out not making anywhere close to this. So graduated high school yes uh yesterday <laughs> i graduated high school last year so uh no college just doing stuff like this and we're able to make almost three thousand dollars in uh less than two weeks so that's that's pretty good um for my one week point we we're at well over a thousand dollars um so yeah i'm pretty excited about this um 
I'll be happy to show you guys some more videos in the future. Like I said, comment down below if you have any more questions for me, like specifically what's going on. I'll make videos about everything you want to know. Um, yeah, so this was just a quick video showing you that it is possible to do it because um, I sure. So let's take a look at my balance. So this is $2,800. Why do I keep doing that? Jeez, I got to stop dragging. $2,800. That's going to be going into my bank account in two days. Um, so that'll be... Some of that will be spent on reordering product, and some of that will be spent on, who knows, it's profit. So save it, reinvest it, whatever you want. Um, and then this is a screenshot I took last night of my sales. So this was yesterday. This was a 16 unit day. That's probably my average. Like I said, I had that one $26 day or 26 unit day. That was awesome. Um, this is realistically how many I'm doing um, consistently though, about 15, 16 a day. Some days I'll do 20, uh, some days I'll do 14. But uh, yesterday I did $400 in sales. Um, for the week, I did $2,700 in product sales. And since I started, so on May 1st, 12 days ago, I've done $4,100 in sales. So really awesome, 166 units sold already. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I feel like I've been talking for a while. I don't want to make this too, too long, but it is possible. So I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>